That was a good swim from you, improvement on the heat. Yeah. And uh, just had to settle for a second behind your teammate in the end, but good day's work? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, I'm really, really pleased for Lou. You know, she's trained hard for that. Um, she just missed it this morning, so it's great to, to have her qualify tonight, you know, especially being, you know, like my teammate and, and my roommate sort of thing. So it's always good. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with like how I've done this week. Uh, you know, I've done three swims and qualified on three swims. Um, I've not had the best run up coming into into this competition. Um, I've not been touched in water. Well, I've not touched water for three and a half weeks now. Uh, I've been diagnosed with neurologic migraines and lost part of my sight in my right eye. So having to like deal with all that and then come to the trials and produce what I've produced, I, I really, really can't complain. In some ways, was it quite good to have three events on these first three days so you could just get straight in and focus on qualifying in those three events straight away? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm a 400 free on day one, um, which was quite tough, you know, like not training for three and a half weeks and a little bit longer, really. So to qualify on that was a, was a massive, massive bonus. And, you know, like it felt like a big pressure had been like released. Um, so like when day two came, I'd already qualified on day one. So I think day two, I just settled down a little bit more. Um, but for some reason on that one I felt really, really nervous before the final on that, but obviously it's all good and the adrenaline kept me going, so that's good. And obviously, maybe you must be feeling quite confident now, you've still got 100 free, 200 IM. Yeah, I've got 100 free tomorrow, so hopefully I should be able to, to have another qualifying on time on that tomorrow. So fingers crossed I'll, I'll qualify on that as well. Okay.